Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a website for yourself by using some static site generator like Zola. Ah. This is going to be a quick walkthrough. I already made a video about it. If you don't know what static site generator is, it's just a way to make your website a little bit easy because normally what happens is you write website using HTML, but uh, HTML is just a pain to manage. There are so many things you need in your website like headers and footers, and you cannot write block by using HTML. So that's why static site generator exists. And this is why we are going to use Zola, which is written in Rust and it's uh, something I use and I like. So let me install Zola. It's pretty simple, sudo pacman hyphen as Zola. It's already there. And let me just type Zola in it money. So my website is moneyritika.xyz. So it's money. Uh, you have to type domain. So it's moneyritika.xyz. And then says compilation, no. Enable syntax highlighting. If you are a programmer, then yes. Do you want to build search index? No. All right, that's it. So we created this directory money. It automatically get created by Zola. So here, if I run the tree command, we got four directories and one configuration file. And configuration file is nothing. It's just a few information which we just added. All right. So we don't have to worry about it right now. So let's just quit it. And I removed all the commands. Now what we have to do is this is just going to be a walkthrough on the documentation. So we just have to follow the docs and that's it. It's pretty simple to create a website for anybody. I, I created website for many people and let me tell you what we have to do so we got four directories in one file let me go into this uh, templates directory and now here i have to make four files one is block.html another is uh, page.html and index.html now what we have to do is just copy paste all right so this is base.html the last is base.html let me open base.html and paste this code so the first code which you got is base.html and i made another video with a little bit more explanation but this uh, series point is not to teach you how to build a website its point is how to do self-hosting things but i'm just making this video in case if anybody wants it another thing which you have to do we have to open index.html and then set paste and paste the second code here which is nothing just um, html among with some ginger to like templating engine it's not ginger to by the way so it's ginger to light so now the third file is actually block.html so we we wrote something in base.html we wrote something in index.html now we are going to write block.html and at last there is this page.html now here it is block page but i call it page.html i find it more clean and it makes more sense so as you can see i added the content in all these files all right and now what I have to do is I have to get out of template and get into content. And here I have to paste again few content. So this is just my blog. I'm going to make a blog directory here and go into blog and type first blog. So this is how we are going to write blog. So we just have to make MD files inside this blog directory and inside this blog, you know what? You should just read documentation. So you can give some metadata here in order to give metadata. You have to type this plus 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 and then here plus 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 and between this, uh, this is the metadata data and then the date and then here you can see some anything with markdown okay some heading or first blog all right so save it click it actually i just want to show you like how it easy it is to write a blog by using method of zola so blog page is already done and you can type some other post but one thing which you really 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 need is this this index.md which is going to stay inside blog which is just going to define the index page of the blog and here you might have to change okay uh, this blog page to page.html and that's it i think that's really really it so now let me write uh, one about.md2 so you can make some custom page template is equal to log uh, page.html and title is equal to who am i so this is just an about page and about me and let me just say i am me and you are you all right so this is just our about page and let me just add one contact.md2 so contact.md is nothing but uh, context contact how to reach me all right that's it so just give give your name email or whatever all right so here we are done that's it like that's 
all which i believe we had to do in this video if i type zola serve now hopefully this is not going to give me any error and it's just going to serve the website but it's just going to start a server for us it's not actual website as you can see this is my blog made with zola if i go to slash blog here you can see a list of blog i can click to a blog and i'm getting date first blog everything so you have to go through this page it's pretty simple now still this is not looking good there are a lot of things we have to do for the starters we might just want to go into templates and then change the base.html so let me add a navigation bar here i cannot really type today and uh, okay it's so hard to type html guys this is seriously frustrating for me okay home page and blah 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 like about page uh, about about blog contact and contact and blog okay blog and here we need we can add any other contact like i usually add my https server but whatever so that's it that's the navigation bar and now if i run roller server again so here you can see we are, we are having a navigation bar we are having a contact page we are having a blog so cool like everything is so nice so in the next video i'm going to show you how to write a css for this website and trust me this ugly looking page will turn out to be a beauty and something like this one of my friend i did i wrote a css for him so this website is actually using the exact same technique which i just showed you and look at the css right now so i can show you like how to write not this css actually but you know something like this i can show you like uh, I'll, I'll make this page uh, good looking okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching this down yeah i've been feeling so i've been feeling so down yeah can you tell me why can you tell me why i'm down yeah no friends of mine no friends of mine around yeah now i'm thinking now now i'm thinking